dear students in this lecture we will understand how to solve an electric network using norton's theorem so we will understand this with the help of an example let us consider one electric network which is shown here and we will try to find out the norton's equivalent of this network across these two ab terminals as it is mentioned in the statement of the equation and then we will calculate the load current which is flowing through this resistance r and assuming the value equal to 10 ohm now to get the norton's equivalent of any electrical network we need two important parameters and these parameters are calculated for this circuit apart from the load resistance these parameters are so important parameters we need so they are Uh, Norton's current I n uh, also known as short circuit current, and then we need R n, which is Norton's resistance. So. first of all we will calculate the value of norton's resistance norton's resistance is calculated in the similar manner as we calculate the thevenin's resistance so the procedure is same the first step is remove the load uh, resistance and the second is replace Uh, all the the sources sorry with their resistances now by doing so the circuit that is obtained is given here this one so in this circuit these two resistances are in series and the resultant is in parallel with this one so r n is equal to 8 plus 2 is in parallel with 20 so it is 20 by 3 ohm now the second parameter that we need is the norton's current so how to find out the norton's current <coughs> so here this is kind of typo so we will mention short circuit here so the first thing that we will do is we will replace the load resistance with the short path okay the resistance given here so we will because these are the uh, ab are the load terminals as given in the statement so we will uh, uh, replace this uh, load resistance given here with the a uh, short circuit so we will short both the terminals a and b so whatever current is flowing in this particular branch ab will be the short circuit current or we can say the norton's current right both are same now how will we calculate the norton's current here or short circuit current here that all depends upon the kind of circuit we have uh, we can apply any given circuit analysis method that we have to solve the uh uh given electrical circuit right now in this case as you can see 1 ampere and 8 ohm so this is ohm here 1 ampere and 8 ohm can be source transform and we have these two circuit parameters after applying the source transformation so this is source transform 
right so uh, now uh, we can calculate isc now how will we calculate isc that also you know depends upon uh, the kind of circuit we have in this circuit we can see that this 8 volt source will deliver certain current let us say this is i1 current which is flowing in this way and this is let us say junction x and y this is y this is x and let us say this current this this 32 volt source is delivering the current i2 which is going towards x here so when these two current will meet at x so they both current will flow in this branch here So I1 and I2 both will meet at junction X, hence ISC is equal to I1 plus I2. Because here in parallel to this x and y we have a branch a b which is short right so this i2 current will not flow in the loop it will go from here like this and this will also go like this so these two will be added here right and you'll get isc the reason is that we have a short path here this a b So uh, I1 is basically 8 divided by 10 and I2 is equal to 32 divided by 20 ampere. So I is equal to 8 by 10 plus 32 by 20. So this is equal to your 20 and 16 plus 32 so it is 48 by 20 so it is 2.4 ampere isc sorry so isc is 2.4 ampere which is flowing in this particular branch so the third step that is to determine the to, to draw the Norton's equivalent. So the Norton's equivalent is basically the um, Norton's current or short circuit current and the Norton's resistance connected. So this is the Norton's equivalent of the given electrical circuit. Right. And the last step is we will calculate the load current here. So load current can be calculated by applying the this was x and y here so by applying the uh, what do you say uh, current division rule at this particular point so this is load current here so load current is equal to i n as per the formula into r n divided by r n plus r l so i l is equal to 2.4 into 20 by 3 divided by 20 by 3 plus 10. So IL is equal to, so IL in this case is 48 by 50 ampere. So this is how we can solve an electric network using Norton's theorem. The first thing is we calculate Rn. The second is we calculate In, which is also known as ISC. And the third is the, we'll draw the Norton's equivalent. And the fourth is calculate um, IL is equal to I. N R N divided by R N plus R N. So in these four steps, we can uh, solve any given complex electrical network, linear bilateral using Norton's theorem. Thank you so much.